Perkins was integrated, I think the year was 1952. Five black students uh, were received as the first African American students to enroll in Perkins. We were students first and athletes second. Uh, not only have the ability to catch a football or to run fast, run 100 meters and 10 flat, but to also get in the classroom and do well in the classroom. And the focus was always academics. And, uh, and so we were going to honor the opportunity that we had here to, 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 to get our degree and move on to professions. We were going to honor the effort that other people made to offer us scholarships. We were going to, we were going to honor the people that, that walked the, this campus before us. You know, going all the way back to the 1950s the and 55, who paid the price. Mm -hmm. We were going to honor all those folks that was going to come come after us. You know, and we were going to graduate. We we're going to graduate on time. We we're going to go on with our career. One that kind of bothered all of the African American students, or two that we kind of joke about, um, is a fraternity called the Deeks. They were kicked off campus because the KAs dressed as the Confederate Army and the Deeks dressed as the Union Army, <laughs> and they had a Civil War and the Deeks got kicked out. I said, why didn't they kick out the KAs? But uh, at this point, they had something called Old South Week where they dressed in antebellum clothes and they flew their Confederate flags and the football players all got together and, and stormed them and said, you take the flag back. So when they told me what was going on with the Old South, and I said, okay, we'll, we, will, we will see. So I climbed up on the student center uh, wall and got to the stairs and got on top of the building and cut the flag down. The Confederate flag? The Confederate flag. I cut the whole Confederate flag down. And what happened? As I walked through the crowd, it was like Moses parting of the seas. We had formed an organization um, and it was called BLAACS, Blacks, Black League of Afro-American and African College Students. Yeah, we were trying to be very strategic with what we were about to do, and we drew up a list of demands. And uh, on a certain April day in 1969, 33 of us marched into President Willis Tate's office. Um, our president had made an appointment, Mike had made an appointment with him. President Tate was expecting one person not practically his entire black student body. <laughs> so we do this thing, right, and there's a, sort of a running joke um, uh, that I, I had with some of the older black alums, and they would say, man, you know, at the time, like, we would, you know, we would see a black student, right, because, because literally, like, they, there were only, like, a handful of black students here, and they would see a black student and, like, sprint over in the other direction to go be with this person, mm -hmm. right, because they didn't know the next time they would see a black person, literally. So there was a time when, you know, I would sort of do the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. But I also sort of lean back to my own experience and I'm like, I don't want anybody to ever feel alone or like they didn't belong. Mm -hmm. So I would just at random go see a black person like, oh, hey, what's going on? Like, I want to get to know you. I would ask, you know, hey, man, it'd be really great to have you at an ABS meeting, right? Or mm -hmm. just come, come by the OMSA, you know, and just hang out, come chill out. And this will be ingrained in my memory forever. Um, I had a black girl tell me, um, no, you won't see me at the ABS meeting because uh, my parents told me not to self-segregate when I got here. There's Greek life and then there's black Greek life. <laughs> it's a little bit different. But um, the, um, the Greek life was, of course, it was fun. It's, uh, for me, it was just another way to, to connect. And I think that that's so important. Had I not been involved in a sorority and had, you know, that type of um, familial type of connection, um, you know, same thing with student activities, it made all the difference. At the time, particularly the black community at SMU was very kind of intimate and integrated together. So we hung out a lot with each other. It was very familial almost. Uh, people were sisters and brothers and looked out for one another and got together in the commons and then uh, sorority fraternity would put on a party on campus and we'd all be there to support that. And I think that because this project exists, 
SMU has made a complete turnaround. <laughs> I think that I'm standing in the room with two awesome people who have done a fantastic job of making you talk a little too much than you want to. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope that people see uh, that I wouldn't be here if I didn't love what SMU stands for. And it's good to come back and complete my story in my circle.